Version 12 relies exclusively on INI files to store settings. It also uses INI files to save data for exporting and importing. To avoid problems with formatting and default characters, when using different regional settings in Windows, version 12 forces all programs to use US-centric settings, as shown in the information on the screen. Welcome to this tutorial on installing MPO Canopus version 12. The installer is similar to many other Windows install programs, but you should be aware of some version 12 requirements and how to handle each step. Use the URL to download the installer zip file to the browser's default downloads directory. Extract the files into that same directory and then start the MPO v12 installer program. Version 12 programs are for 64-bit Windows only. You should not need administrator rights as long as you avoid the two programs directories often expected by Windows. The main consideration is that you have read-write privileges for the directory where version 12 will be installed. To install version 12, you must have access to the Internet since files are downloaded as necessary from a secure website. All zip files are downloaded to a temporary directory. Most will be extracted directly to the final destination. The exceptions are for the Atlas and UCAC 4 catalogs, which are multiple zip files that are processed one at a time. Be sure to close any running version 10 or 12 programs. This should not include the MPO server application in version 10, but if you get error messages about trying to copy files to the MPO version 10 directories, stop the server and try again. If you have version 10 installed, do not install version 12 as a subdirectory of the version 10 directory. Click the button to the right side of an entry field to display a select directory form. The form allows you to select an existing or create a new directory. If you don't have version 10 installed, leave that field blank. The emphasis is on temporary download directory. Anything that goes into that directory quickly ends up in the unrecoverable trash bin. The two checkboxes at bottom determine if the installer will create a desktop shortcut and or start menu item for the MPO Canopus launcher. If you are installing over or updating an existing version 12 installation, you can make a backup of certain files before the installation. Do not make this folder under the main version 12 directory. You can, but it's just not a good plan. Check the box on the program's group box border to install anything more than a star catalog. You must also check the V12 MPO Canopus box. Checking the two boxes enables the check tree view on the right. Uncheck the box to bypass installing programs and databases and go to the next tab. The component for selecting programs and data is a standard Windows tree view. When fully collapsed, there are four main branches of the tree. Click on the plus sign next to the name of a branch to expand it and see the offshoot branches. The plus changes to a minus. If you click on the minus, the branch collapses. If you check a box that has a plus or minus sign to the left of it, then everything under that branch is automatically checked. If you uncheck the box, then everything under the branch is also unchecked. If you check only some of the offshoots, the box for the parent branch has a small square, indicating that only some of the elements under the parent branch are selected. The Canopus branch has five offshoots. Three of them, Core Files, Examples, and Utilities, have offshoots of their own. The Export V10 branch installs programs and files needed to extract version 10 data to be imported into version 12. The Import V10 branch installs the files needed to import the version 10 export files. The Common branch has four offshoots. Common Files includes the PJ2000.dat planetary tables used for orbit computations. 
Extract is the Windows version of Sextractor and is used for auto-matching images and other functions. SSL, or Secure Socket Layer, installs Windows DLLs to allow secure Internet connections. Lookups is a set of tables with common data, for example, filter and color index names. The Databases branch has two offshoots. The fixed DB includes SQL light tables for bright stars, deep sky objects, and double stars, among others. The Users DB includes the SQL light versions of the Mighty Five tables, along with profiles and photo red transforms. The Documentation branch installs version 10 PDFs, which will still be useful under version 12. Click the Read Me button before you work on the Star Catalogs tab. It has important information that may affect how you set up the options. Since the catalogs did not change from version 10, you can skip this tab by not checking any of the boxes, but only if the catalogs are already available or can be copied from the original DVD ISO images. Check the box to the left of a catalog name to install that catalog. Use the button to the right of the field to select an existing or create a new directory for the final destination of the files. If downloading the version 10 DVD ISO image, you will need a release code for version 10 MPO Canopus, LC Invert, and or connections. If you have lost the code, send a private email to brian at bdwpublishing.com. The Atlas and UCAC 4 catalogs require downloading a number of zip files. Each one is downloaded, extracted, and processed before going on. Given the time it takes to download the zip files, you have the option to save them instead of them being deleted from the temporary download directory. If you check the save box, the zip files are automatically saved to an auto-created subdirectory under the catalogs directory. Before starting, you have a chance to review your choices. If you want to change something, use the Previous button to return to the page where you want to make the changes and then return to this page. As with any installation program that takes some time, it's best to leave it alone while working. Don't click buttons or scroll through the log. When the installation is done, you'll get a message about the location of the installation log, which is a simple text file. After clicking the OK button on the message about the installation log, you're taken to the last page of the installer. Those are live links on the forum in case you want to visit the MPO Software Forum or our YouTube channel. The MPC Orb table of the Asteroid Orbital Elements may be empty. Even if not, you'll want the most recent version. Check the box to run the MPC Orb utility after the installation program closes. This concludes the tutorial for using the version 12 installation program. More tutorials are on the MPO YouTube channel by using the URL on the screen. Please subscribe so that you be notified when new tutorials are available. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to the MPO Software Forum on IO Groups. Please note, you cannot attach files to messages. If necessary, you will be asked to send them offline.